Hey guys, it's Rachel from free scrapbooking ideas and videos.com and I'm going to share with you how I overcome scrapper's block or some of the ways I try to. Um, I think the number one thing to remember is sometimes it just doesn't happen, but I'll give you some of the things that I try when I feel like I need to get something done and I'm just not feeling creative or don't really know where to start. The first thing I do is I set my timer and that is a trick that I learned from Fly Lady. Um, I think the thing it helps me with is kind of overcoming perfectionism. Like I get lost in all the possibilities and trying to do it just right and trying to do it perfectly and chronologically and all that stuff. You know, to me it's easy to get overwhelmed. But if I set my timer, then I, it helps me on two things. I can say I only have to do it till the timer goes off and then I can stop or if I get into it and it's really fun but I have other things to do then I'll say I can stop when the timer goes off and I need to go do something else. So either way it just really helps kind of keep me focused. The other thing I do is I listen to scrapbooking podcasts. just have a great little tiny iPod that I've had for a million years but it's great. So when I go to the gym or late at night when I'm cooking or just cleaning or doing stuff like that, I listen to scrapbooking podcasts. The first one I started out with um, is the Paper Clipping Roundtable. Um, recently, I've started listening to the Digi Show, and then there's another one called This Memory Keeper's Life. But I think what I like about those is that I can do two things at one time because I have so many other, I'm sure like you, so many other obligations cooking, cleaning, you know, all just those menial tasks that we all have to do, folding laundry, but I can get a lot of ideas at the same time. Um, it's just, it's, it's awesome. And it keeps you just kind of in that frame of mind, thinking about it. Um, what can I say? You'll, you'll, you'll love them. Check them out. It's the Paper Clipping Roundtable, the Digi Show, and this Memory Keeper's Life. And I'll put uh, links in the description box. Um, the other thing that I do is check out either magazines, like I used to be, this is a super old magazine, I used to subscribe to Creating Keepsakes back in the day, um, and I used to just pour over those. So I would just study them, like, how, why does this layout work, why do I like this, what do they really do? I just kept stashes of magazines around, and when I had free time, I would just sit there and look at them, and I, I say study them, but... You know, just see what really works. Um, that was probably five years ago. And um, these days, I get on Pinterest. I get on 2 peasandabucketcom um, scrapbook.com. Um, one I recently discovered called pagemaps.com has great sketches. And there's a lot of other websites I just reviewed that have great sketches. So sometimes I'll just... Um, I just do that. I mean, I'm and I do that just randomly for relax, you know, relaxation. Just be looking at kind of like with the podcast. Even if I'm not planning to scrapbook, I'll just look at magazines. Well, like I said, I don't really subscribe to magazines anymore, but I do have a few old ones. Um, or just look at online galleries. Look at Two Piece has really great. Um, um, video classes you can learn tons of stuff from that so and so that just kind of all those ways just kind of keep things fresh on my mind and kind of it keeps the ideas flowing so that when I sit down I already have some ideas I actually keep um, lists of ideas of, of layouts that I want to do as well um, so that when I need to sit down and do it I don't have to think of something necessarily um, so those are kind of inspiration ideas I guess the main um, one to get me started is my timer. If I'm feeling just the perfectionism of not wanting to start, I'll grab my timer. That's, that would be my number one tip. Set it for 15 minutes and just do what you can. Move on to something else. Sometimes it just gets the ball rolling and if you have time, great, you can keep going. If you don't have time, you have permission to stop. And I'm very thankful to Fly Lady for teaching me that. It helps me tremendously just to kind of balance myself out. So anyways, those are some of my tips on how to overcome scrapper's block and get inspired. I'd love to hear yours. Leave me some comments. Thanks a lot.